Hey guys, so I just got home from grocery shopping and I thought I would share with you what I picked up. Um, and then I also want to insert photos or like little video clips of the like meals I make. For my reference, one, because sometimes I get in ruts and like I stop being creative with food. I don't know. And then two, also maybe just for ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and start with what I picked up at the grocery store. Um, since I just moved, I have some like staples. I have like rice and pasta and that's basically it. So I had to pick up a lot of, um, I'm looking at my groceries. I had to pick up a lot of staples kind of a thing, but I feel like I did pretty good. Um, just quick, I spent $45.32. Um, I went to Aldi. I got all the packaged stuff at Aldi and then all the fresh produce I got at my um, local grocery store, which is Cub now that I'm in Minneapolis. So yeah, $45.32, I feel like it's pretty good. I usually try to keep it under $30 per week for groceries because it's just me. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and flip the camera around and show you what I got. Okay, so this is an overview of the food I picked up. Like I said, I did have to pick up some staples. Um, so let's start over here. So I got some vegetable oil, unsweetened vanilla, almond milk. Love that. I use it basically every day. Um, and then I got a thing of sugar and flour. Um, I got some barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays, the best. Um, salt, mustard. Um, this is tomato sauce, like for pasta. I got light mayo. This was like the smallest one they had, but whatever. Um, I got some minced garlic. I got a pepper shaker. Got some baking soda. And then I got some tuna here in water. I don't like it in the oil. Loaf of bread, I got some salmon fillets, which I thought would be good, and then some brown sugar. So all that that I just showed you was from Aldi, and that was $28.76. If you have an Aldi near you, I highly recommend. I'm gonna come on this side, see my little cheat sheet. <laughs> okay, so then this stuff I got from Cub, which is my local grocery store. Um, I just am wary about the produce at Aldi, that's all. So strawberries, um, they were three for six dollars. So I got three. I was free some of them um, for smoothies and stuff. I got some green onion and some cilantro. Oh, I also got goat cheese, the garlic and herb. This was from Aldi, which I love goat cheese. I can't have normal dairy, but I can have goat cheese without it bothering me. Okay, so yeah, green onion, cilantro. Um, I got an onion, two bell peppers, five tomatoes, two lemons, two jalapenos, two... Um, avocados, bananas, and eggs. So yeah, that is what I have. Like I said, I already had rice and pasta and some basic basic stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what meals I can come up with. I already have a few ideas. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, I will post little clips of my meal and probably explain them. So yeah, that's all I have. All right, I'm back. Sorry, real quick, I forgot to mention that the all the fresh produce um, at Cub was $16.56, so there you go. All right, now I'm done. Hi, guys. So for breakfast today, I'm having a little shake, I guess you could call it. So it's one banana, and I froze the banana, so it's extra, like, cold and creamy. And then I added in one scoop of chocolate protein powder, and then two tablespoons of dried peanut butter, and then just some almond milk. And it tastes like a liquid Reese's cup, but healthy, and I really like it. So yeah, that's breakfast. Hey guys, so I made brunch today. It is Saturday, and I made French toast sticks. And I actually do cut up the French toast before. Um, I put them on the grill, so like I cut the bread. And I find that if you do it in sticks, they cook through better and a little bit faster. Anyway. This is what I'm having, um, and I have syrup and a little container on the side because I don't want it all over. So, yeah, that is my brunch. All right, guys, so this is a lunch. This is what I usually have for lunch. So I have two slices of wheat bread. Um, I have a half of an avocado spread between the two slices down there. Hopefully you can see um, I have, for the eggs, I did one whole egg, two egg whites scrambled. And then I have the pico de gallo that I make, um, which is the onion, um, tomato, jalapeno, what else? Oh, and cilantro. And then I have strawberries on the side. So yeah, this is my lunch. 
Um, this is what I talked about, my favorites. I can't get enough of it. So, yeah. All right, I have a lunch here. This is one can of tuna, two tablespoons of light um, mayo, and then I add in one serving of oyster crackers, and then I add in just a dash of onion powder because it adds a little bit more flavor. So, very light lunch. I'm going out to eat tonight, so I didn't want to go too carb heavy because I'm not sure what I'm going to order yet. So, yeah, there's that. Hey guys, so I know I said earlier I have this for lunch like every day, but it's true. Um, this is day five of this lunch. I cannot get enough of it though. I love it. Um, it is two slices of bread, half of an avocado spread between each slice, pico de gallo, and scrambled eggs. And I do add pepper to my scrambled eggs, and then I cut up some strawberries and have them on the side. So yeah, it's a good go-to. It's very healthy, it's very nutrition dense, and it's just delicious. So yeah. Hey guys, so I just made dinner and tonight I made a one serving of brown rice which was half of a cup dry um, and then a four ounce salmon filet that I baked in the oven um, from the frozen salmon I bought today and then I have some fresh asparagus here that I cooked up so yeah that is my dinner. Hi guys, I have dinner, and it's pretty similar to the other one I made earlier this week, but I have a salmon filet, it's about four ounces, and then I made a fried rice tonight, so I have brown rice, um, half a cup of that, two egg whites, and then I have bell pepper and green onion chopped up and fried in with it, and then for seasoning I did black pepper, minced onion, and lemon, um, yeah, so that's my dinner. All right, so I'm having a snack and I'm having two sheets of honey graham crackers with one ounce of the garlic herb goat cheese um, I bought spread on top of it. Super delish, love it. Hey guys, so I made dessert, um, but it's pretty healthy yet. Um, so yeah, this is like a milkshake if you will. So basically what I did is I took the bananas and strawberries from earlier and I chopped them up and I stuck them in the freezer. So I used one banana and eight strawberries, and then I used um, one scoop of the plant fusion vanilla bean pea pro or um, plant protein. Then I used a cup and a half of cup and a half of almond milk, the unsweetened vanilla flavor. And I'm not gonna lie, I added a little bit of artificial strawberry because I just really wanted strawberry ice cream tonight, but I wasn't going to have ice cream, so I added in. One serving is this is two tablespoons, so I did that. So yeah, this is what I came up with. It tastes really good. I have a little bit extra there. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. So that's all I have right now.